All right. The next award we're going to do is from a, for a young lady uh, who helped me back in September. She gave me a call. I was in the middle of a program. I said, man, let me get my program out the way. Well, she called me because we had 11 families who had got illegally evicted over here at the Efficiency Lodge on Candler Road. And I got over there, I didn't know what I was getting into. But I saw armed guards, they had the bullet, they had the vest on with the bullets, with the guns on each side. And I said, what is going on over here? And it was hot in September. Y'all remember how hot it was in September? Like almost hundreds. But this young lady called me and said, Commissioner, what can we do to help? And they wouldn't even let the families go in and get their clothes out the, uh, the lodge. So we were able to team up with New Life Baptist Church. I called the pastor. Pastor Harris came over right away. You know, the big churches, they don't, the pastor don't never come really. They send somebody, he came right away. And we were able to get five days for the families to get them a place to stay while we get them stabilized. The next day, we got them some food and made those happen. But this lady right here, I want her to come on up. Miss Pink, I call her. Come on up, Miss Pink. I'm video safe. I want you, this lady right here, we got 11 families that's been illegally evicted. This lady has found apartments. For how many? Uh, we have uh, six, seven all together. Seven apartments for these families. Have gotten them money, gotten them help, to really look out. And then let me tell you something about these families. The families came over to Columbia Drive for the tree of love I do over there. They had, they got a teenager, middle school, and a young person. They homeless at the time. Come on up, these are my families here. They, they, you got to see the face. And they adopted five kids themselves. Now could you, a homeless person adopting kids themselves. And a lot of us got, in the big house, you know, two, three cars. And I'm trying to pull you to come out. Because they got every reason not to help nobody, right? Now if you're homeless, you don't have nothing, don't you? That's your reason you can say, I'm not doing nothing, but they don't do that. And so Miss Pink has come, she has helped seven of 11 families. These families, some of them got jobs, some of them managers now, they got manager jobs. Some of them sent me a picture last night, they got another job. These were our essential workers, y'all. These are folks that lost their unemployment to six hundred dollars. They got cut to three hundred, and extended stay homes are not cheap now. They buy what? How much are extended stay per day? Weekly, three hundred dollars a week to live extended stay. That's a lot. So Miss Pink, with her advocacy, with her love, with her care. I want to give her the special award, the Ernest Prather Community Award, the Promote Community Pride and Civic Responsibility. And so here you go, Miss Pink. Y'all give it up for her. Activist. Come on, say a few words. And see, I, I got off guard. See, she didn't know she was getting this. See, she just thought she was coming to help. Man, 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 he always is a surprise. Him and Miss Rashad, I thank y'all and I love y'all so very much. Um, I just love being obedient to God. I love what he is allowing me to do for our community, and that's teach, train, equip, and empower individuals to function using the keys of the kingdom of God. And when you do that, you can get through any situation. You know, I tell them all the time, I meet you where you at, but I gotta take you where you're, where I'm going to the top because the bottom is entirely too crowded. Yeah, and working with Commissioner that. Larry Johnson, that's what it is. He's always at the top and he's bringing someone else along with him. This is not something that he just does just yearly. This is something that he does all the time, year after year after year, day after day, minute after moment. When I called him, he had no question about coming. The only thing he said is that he had a phone call, uh, 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 um, um, something that he had to, a meeting that he had to do as far as a Zoom call, but he counseled two, not one, two. I've never seen a commissioner do this, not in the state of Georgia, I'm from Denver, Colorado, not in Denver, Colorado, not 
ever dropped what they were doing to come. And not only did he just come, he came with a call of action. He came with an action plan. He had a plan already of what was about to happen. Not even knowing what was he was up against. At the time, he didn't know it was 11. I didn't know it was 11. Well, I, I told him it was 2030. And then I miss LaShawn and, and, and Commissioner. I, I, I did, when I talked to both of them, because I talked to Miss LaShawn first and she immediately got him on the phone. But when I talked to them, I didn't know what was going on. I just knew that I was tagged into the situation and had had a phone call made to me of what was going on. And I immediately, God sent me. And Kingdom blessings, everybody. God's work makes the dream work. Amen. Amen. And this is what it's all about. Like it's that. us. It's not I. I like it's that. us. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad to be on the team with him, Mr. Sean. I mean, whatever they need me to do, right. God knows I'm going to do it. Woo! You see what the tree of love is about? Mm -hmm. COVID wasn't going to stop this love. Right. And so I got one more gift. Go get the next one. I'm just gonna do it, Lashawn. We're not here. We just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. Say it. I got one more award that we do every year. It's, it's the Lou Walker Award. Lou Walker was a county commissioner in DeKalb County. He died tragically. Sure did. Lou Walker was the one who brought the Hillendale Hospital to DeKalb. Lou Walker was the one who started Ace Arts, Culture, and Entertainment. Had our first movie studio in Lithonia or Bruce Street. Lou Walker was an actor. He was in uh, Remember the Titans. He was in uh, The Firm. He was one who told uh, whatever that guy is. He said he, they cheating on their taxes or something. He was the one who recruited Denzel Washington. He was in My Cousin Vinny, the one who said grits. And he asked him, what was grits? He said, how many grits? So Lou Walker was an actor, but he was a county commissioner. We called him Super Lou. And I told him I would never, ever forget about him. Uh, he helped me. Uh, when I was running, I was I was not going to run for office. I had I ran in 2000. It was four, five Johnsons in the race, mm. and I said after that I came in fifth place. I was a, I was the candidate. My, my slogan was I was the candidate with the most experience, the youngest candidate with the most experience. But then he saw me two years ago. I went to work for the person who who beat me. And that person was uh, Hank Johnson. I worked in Hank's office. I said, I want to. I still want to make sure that somebody get the betterment of the cab and what I can do. Because it wasn't about me; it's about service. And then they said, "Man, we need some young people to run for office." I'm looking around and just waiting. And at that moment, my daughter had started getting into the acting industry. And when she got in the acting industry, we had uh, we said, "Well, we're gonna help her be an actor, actress." So my wife and her got in the car and drove all the way to California in two days. 